What's going on YouTube family? Coming to you guys live with another video. Got a, uh, some business I gotta handle today. So out here early in the morning, uh, getting the first half of the day done. Then when I make it back home later on this afternoon, we'll do this whole process over again, guys. Um, things have been going pretty great here at Davis Rod Roberts, guys. I cannot complain. Um, every day, you know what I'm saying, we're making history here at Davis Rod Rollers. Um, had a couple of people reach out to me about, you know, using uh, a couple of the dogs for a stud. I got one guy interested in Chewy, then I got another guy interested in using Dollar. Nothing has been etched in stone, but just to have people calling you, reaching out, considering doing business with you is enough for me. Um, like I said, guys, um, if they do the, if they do decide to use, uh, if the guy goes with Chewy or if the other guy goes with Dollar, I'll probably record it. But then again, you know, I'll probably talk it over with them because I know, you know, what I'm saying, you know, everybody do their business a certain way. You feel me? Everybody do their business a certain way. So I don't want to rob anyone from, you know, what I'm saying. They just like to let everybody do their thing the way they do their thing. What is uh early in the morning, guys? Early in the morning. What's up, big boy? What's up? Looks well, like we had an accident last night. One of the food bowls flipped over. It is what it is. I ain't tripping. What's up, Lotto? What's up, Lotto and Chewy? First two we gonna let out. Then we're gonna let the other ones out. We got Xena right here. And we also got me. That's what it's all about, guys. Just letting the dogs be dogs, man. Just letting the dogs be dogs. As you guys can tell, I got a lot of work cut out for me this morning, so. It's kind of good. But I went on head on and got up early this morning so I can get this stuff done. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just some more behind the scenes footage, guys. I don't have to always show you. I'm going to show you guys the real, you feel me? I ain't got to just show you guys when my kids are clean or when my dog is free. This, all this is just a part of the dog game. All of this is a part of the dog game, guys. It's a lot of work. A lot of work before you get rewarded. They got all these acres to run, but they want to be up under me. All these acres, but they want to be up under me. Hey, cut it out. When I say they get jealous, <laughs> they get jealous. Guys, I'm going to go ahead on and get on these pins. I'm going to catch you in the next one. I ain't going to lie, boy. I take my hat off to any other kennel out there who got more dogs than me. I just don't know how they do it, man. It's definitely, um, it definitely takes teamwork, guys. It definitely takes teamwork to take care of these dogs. Um, it's some days where I might have something going on. I, might have to go check on a, a job and sometimes my other half and the kids come out here and get it done man uh, you definitely need a team man and right now i'm only at six dogs right now three males and three females at the moment and man dog it, it's some guys out there man <laughs> if they had six dogs their life would be a million times easier. I look at Big Kimmel. Talking about 20, 30 dogs plus multiple litters at one time, man. I, I take my hat out to anybody. This game here is definitely not for the week. Definitely not for the week, guys. And you guys only see a fraction of the stuff we have to put up with on camera. 
So sometimes, man, the work be so much, you don't even think about pulling out the camera. I think I'm going to go ahead on and bring out my suffer cleaner and pressure wash these pins. I think I'm going to go ahead on and do that. I'm going to try to do a deep cleanse on my pins at least. I would say once every quarter, once every three months, but realistically probably uh once every like six months. Really just depends on my schedule. Go ahead on and come up here and put that pressure on it and clean up this concrete. Get nice and clean. Every now and then you got to do that. Every now and then you got to do that. Uh, right now, uh, Zena's doing pretty good. Zena's doing pretty good. Uh, she's showing signs of uh, early pregnancy. She's starting to uh, slow down on her eating. Instead of eating it all at once, she's kind of breaking the meals up. So, so that's a good sign. Um, nothing has been confirmed yet, but she's looking pretty promising. But you guys know that don't mean nothing. <laughs> Remember, I embarrassed myself thinking Nina was pregnant that one time. Took her to the vet and everything. It wasn't nothing in there <laughs> but a bunch of poop. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're just trying to grow here, man. We're just trying to trying to grow, stay consistent. We're definitely going to be adding some more dogs to the kennels. Uh, I'm thinking about adding the older female. So I'm on the lookout for one. Let's just say one around probably... 16 months to two years maybe one litter but if i can find one nice and fresh and it'll add substance to my yard you know what i'm saying that hasn't had a litter yet that'll be the way to go but you know one litter a female that didn't have one litter is not that bad it's not bad you got some guys out there that's um that's doing some big things we actually got a guy out of, um, we got Jeff out of Miami. He's doing a lot of importing some great dogs. So I talked to him a couple of times, but like I told him, you know, you know I don't want to keep hanging your line until that time I'm approaching. You feel me? So, possibly going with him. Y'all, please excuse me in the background. That's that's what they do when they still in the kennel. They like to bark at one another. They got, they got right at five acres out here, and instead of running the full yard, they like to stay either up under me or they like to stay around each other. Let me say, guys, I ain't gonna really too much bore you with, with you know what I'm saying, cleaning out these kennels. I'll go ahead on and catch you guys in the next scene. All right, guys, we got all the dogs to the kill for the most part. All the pins situated. Everybody done been fed. What's up, Zoop? And our main man, Dollar, right there, guys. I said we had a spill in the yard of some dog food. One of my uh feeder buckets fell down, which it ain't no big deal. Um I don't let my dogs eat off the ground, but like I said, the food fell down. They coming over here eating it. I'm not gonna stop them. I mean it's more work for me to stop them than just let them do what they do. But um once I put those two in their kennel i'll go ahead on and cover up that food with some dirt it ain't no big deal it is not no big deal probably let these two run around a bit i need to get my shovel and move that as well um get back what you have to do is i try to try to make sure i keep my yard clean as poop as best as possible like if I see it like that, I just grab my shovel head and go ahead on the move it out the way. Um, 
you have a better chance stepping in it when it's in the front of your pins than you do if you're putting it towards your back area. Um, it's a kennel out of Lakeland that I went to and he put drain lines in his pen. He put a drain, he put a drain right in the middle of each one of his uh, kennels. He had a drain system, had it sloped down to the middle. I thought that was amazing. Unfortunately though, all my concrete is set. So I would have to bust it up to do it. So, but in the future, that may be something we do, guys. That may be something we do. Uh, um, next time we do a concrete slab, kind of put a slope. All my concrete slabs, they have sl slopes on them. Um, so the water doesn't sit. Of course, you know, all my concrete slabs and kennels and setup, I did it myself. Um, each kennel, we took a different approach. On some of the concrete slabs, you can kind of tell, you know, where... Well, they went good, and then on a couple of them, you can kind of tell, uh, like for instance, on this one, I had a slope, but I didn't quite prop the, prep the ground, so it kind of has a pocket where it holds water a little bit, and then on Dollar's Kennel, it doesn't hold water, but I had under, uh, estimated, under guesstimated the bags of concrete I was going to need, so that had settled, then I came back, and then I did this little proportion. But not bad for uh, turd pads. <laughs> not bad for turd pads. The dogs have a safe place to stay. I can ensure when I'm not on the property that the dogs are nice and secure and I don't have to worry about anyone harming, harming them or them harming themselves in their kennels. So it is what it is. But yeah, guys, we ain't got too much going on. Just a little early morning video. I know you guys always see me take care of the dogs in the afternoon and y'all probably be like, dang, you know, I don't really see them do too much in the morning. So I figured I'll show you guys something you've seen before, but just at a different time. I'll catch you guys in the next scene. Well, like I said, guys, not going to hold you up. I'm going to go ahead on and feed these two. And we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Just let y'all get a good look at Zoot. Check them out, man. That boy is definitely going to be a problem when it becomes his time. But until then, we're going to let Big Man hold the fort down. And that's right, Dollar. <laughs> you can't go wrong with these Davis boys. You can't go wrong at all. Appreciate your support. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.